Well, many of us have waited weeks for our updated driver's licenses, but at two DMV offices in Minnesota, people are now getting them in just minutes. It's part of a pilot program by the state. Our Rob Olson joining us live from Lakeville now. So Rob, everybody watching this will want to know where do we need to go so we don't <laughs> have to wait? Well, the license center here, the Dakota County License Center in Lakeville, it's at the uh, Heritage uh, Library, is one of the spots I imagine that's going to become very, very popular here during the nine months that this is now being tested out. I timed one of them today with my phone from picture to actually license out of the printer was two minutes and 20 seconds. No, that was great. I had no idea they were doing this today, so it was a total surprise. When Corey Hack came in to get her license renewed in Lakeville, she fully expected the same old Minnesota process. You get the yellow piece of paper, you get the corner cut off, and you sit by the mail for a week. So She had no idea she'd be among the first in the state to get it printed off right then and there. How about that? Did you time me? You just took your photo. It was like less than five minutes. And they, well, I think it was less than three minutes, it I know. seemed like. I think so. The Dakota County License Center in Lakeville is one of two places now equipped to print standard licenses. The other is in Moorhead in a test that runs through next June. If all goes well, people will find it to be of value. Then we're likely going to expand it across the state of Minnesota so that all folks can um, you know, take part in it. The reality is they have little doubt people will find the convenience of value, but they still need to do a test run while figuring out the cost of rolling it out in more places. There's still lots of questions about logistics on, on you know, the funding and, and where and how we're going to implement these at other locations. Um, but this is, this is the, the starting point for us. Because of the printer used and the card stock they must keep, Lakeville itself needed more than $70,000 in security upgrades, such as the glass barriers. Some smaller license locations would likely need far more extensive remodeling. Well, I look better now, don't you think? I've aged nicely. You have aged very well. <laughs> As for the licenses themselves, they look pretty much the same, and Corey appreciates not having to worry about watching the mail. I think that's a bigger concern now with as much identity theft that happens. You don't want someone to have your picture and your ID as well, so okay. this is great. Again, this is for standard licenses only. Enhanced IDs and real IDs and, and commercial licenses, too, all still will have to come through the mail with those other IDs. There's more security processes involved in printing them. That's why you can't get them that way. But standard IDs will still work once real ID uh, takes effect if you have your passport to get on a plane. So again, uh, I think a lot of people are going to find they're going to want to come here. Live in Lakeville, Rob Olson, Fox 9. All right. Looks like a really good program, too.